Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is sugar spice and everything nice. Let me tell you, it's always raining. It's always raining all the time. It's always raining. So bear with me. Let's go for a walk. Let me ask you guys, huh? Can you see me? <laughs> Let me ask you guys, what if you found out that uh, your person, your person is going to a strange, to a strange, what? Worship area. Like this Shakahola people, what would you do? Because like nowadays I'm worried with the fact that uh, <laughs> people are having weird, weird kind of kind of uh, topics and kind of thoughts of worship. Because I'm still shocked how more than 300 people were able to be lured to a certain doctrine and they believed it and they followed it and now they are being collected as dead people hmm? and say that is still making me worry because it's absurd and crazy crazy of people to have such a beliefs you know Hmm? So, it's the season of rain and we are not complaining, so I've decided to go for a walk. Sasa? I've decided to go for a walk. And you tell me guys that what you think about guys who literally worship worship people who are mad because huh? <laughs> that cult is actually for mad people how would you worship someone who's going to church who is going to to a different church which has has beliefs that are creepy like those ones hmm? what would you do if you found out your person your better half your relative, your cousin <laughs> is going to such a church or is going to such a place of worship or better still, he or she is actually the pastor of such a doctrine. Eh? I saw even another one that whereby people are literally believing that we should live in the times of Adam and Eve. And they're barely naked, totally naked. And <laughs> funny enough, they're naked and they're, it's like a brotherhood. They're totally naked. It's abroad, totally naked. And they just seated there with no clothes and reading the Bible. Others, were crazy. It's a sisterhood back in Uganda. They were literally, they were literally believing and trusting God for children. So guess what they were doing? Can you imagine? They were breathing smoke and proclaiming that he's going to give them a child, and they suffocate themselves and choke themselves in the smoke in the bed. Of trusting God for a child, the fruit of the womb. So, let's converse and tell me. With such beliefs and such weird doctrines, what would you do if one of your person is believing in weirdo things like those ones, like cults, cultism and such weird doctrines? How would you handle the issue? So, chime in on, on, on the comment section and tell us, 
tell us how would you handle such a case? Because as we speak right now in our country, Kenya, the Shakahola case, the numbers are increasing. And funny enough, funny enough, that person, they, those girls didn't even have cross. That's the reason I'm still saying it's a cult. It's a church from hell. It's a believer doctrine from hell. Because how would you bury people on a farm and then plant vegetables on top of those of those of those graves? Like you want you want people not to to know that their dead body is sleeping on those that farm. Hmm? People plant flowers on a graveyard and a cross to notify people that there was a person human being that has gone. Huh? Even if long time ago people used to throw away people in the forest and and make them be forgotten by throwing them in the forest. In the current times, because we are all well educated, you definitely you actually, oh my God, I'm panting. You actually bury someone and plant flowers and then you put a cross there to notify people that there was somebody buried there. But now, planting kundas on a graveyard, what are you telling us if you're not a witch or a wizard? If you're not a witch or a wizard, what are you communicating to people? Hmm? Just tell me, what are you communicating to people? So yes, chime in and tell me what you think of such weird, weird people. Weird people. In other news, it's raining. What are you planning? Everybody has been complaining, oh, Unga is expensive. Unga is expensive. Unga is expensive. Now that it has rained, can we at least complain of sugar is expensive? <laughs> can, we, can we complain that sugar is expensive now? Because eh, they cost sasa. Uko That's good. Mamu nye shewe. Eh. Even on a far. Eh. 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 Si hata uko kuna nyesha. Eh. Eh. Eh? Inaendelea? Sasa sawa, kaka hivi ya? Sawa? I? Aya? So guys, I was, I was saying, you see in the village you go greeting everybody and anyone, so... As I was saying, can we at least not complain of sugar? Sugar is a bit expensive. We are being, we are being sold at a 330. And at least the price of, of flour came down with a bit of some shillings. And it's around 140, 170. But the sugar is a bit high. Costing too much than expected. Huh? So, what would you think we should be complaining more of? <laughs> we should be complaining more of sugar than even unga. Because, hey, I think we can't be living on the expense of Louis. <laughs> Don't come at me because of saying Louis are always thinking about food. Well, Louis, but in Ukwe, Liunga Mashuka, we want sugar now to shuka. Because it's raining. 
the example of sugarcane on the farms. So the pricing should be going down now. Because right now it's raining every now and then every day. There's no way we can complain there are no vegetables. Okay, my two. Okay, my two. Please, you have to bear with me. You go greeting everybody on the road. It's called village life. We are almost at the shop. It's quite a walk. And I'm still waiting for you chiming on the comment section. And you tell me. You tell me why you basically. Basically, what, what would you do over such, such a person? Such a person who's just crazy. And having weird cultism. Because me, I usually believe Bill. Trust God for yourself. I'm not usually against um, freedom of worship. But it comes to a point where you have to reason out and ask yourself the kind of worship somebody is doing. Is it really legit? There's freedom of worship and there is devil worshiping. Because there's no way you can be you can be saying you're glorifying God with the wrong teachings to humankind and misleading people and claim you know God. So like I'm saying you ought to tell me what you take them for, the kind of people who usually teach wrong teachings and wrong doctrines of the word of God. Because personally, I'm very spiritual. And it's in black and white that those two pastors are misleading the flock of God. <laughs> The flock is being misled. And maybe to just put a benefit of doubt, huh? Do you think those people are sick in the head on the other side? Because it's not normal for over 300 people from one church being, being carried away by a certain teaching. And succumb to it and follow it to the letter. And even now, currently, they're fighting for their pastor. So, what do you think? Isn't that weird? Hmm? Isn't that weird for people who are praying a different God than you thought? What do you think? It's very weird for someone to pray a certain God in a certain doctrine and claim they know God. Huh? That is... That is more of witchcraft. It's more of witchcraft rather than Godcraft. Hmm? So guys, share and tell me what you think about such two weird pastors who claim they know God with their weird teachings and they are forcing people to fast and funny enough people have fasted and died <laughs> never mind <laughs> here in the village guys God stay outside even when it's raining and they are complaining I told you I'm from a region of tea and coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm making a weird sound. Huh? Hello. I'm about to get to the road. I'm going back here. And so far I'm here. So I'm about to get to the road. But yeah, goats, goats make noises as much as they can. Oh, you tell me what you think about such a person. 
Let me get something and then I'll get back to you guys. At least it, it has stopped raining, but um, like I was saying, I'm done buying whatever I was buying. So, what do you call, what do you make of as a, a person who has been telling people to do such things like um, fasting to meet Christ? Because I think it's best you know God for yourself rather than being rather than being brainwashed and carried away by someone for their own self selfish interests so guys chime on the comment section and tell me what would you do to to a person you know how would you how would what, what, what move would you take when you realize your person or your family member has some weird teachings and weird doctrine to other people. So let me try and rush quickly, quickly. Today I felt like talking to you as I walk. Chime down. Let's get interactive. And yes, till next time, God bless you. I love you guys. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And know your God. Know God for yourself. Don't be carried away by people with foolish ideas of and foolish beliefs. That's all I can say. Till next time, God bless you. Bye bye, ciao, ciao. See ya.